Recently, we showcased an idea for creating DIY flanges with some decorative floor flanges and EMT conduit connectors. And this is a hack we've talked about a lot on the channel uh, over the years, and we've tested different things because we found out there were some discrepancies in how you can make this hack work, and some community members were running into issues. And we posted that follow-up video, and there was a lot of engagement and a lot of comments of people recommending that we use a tap and die instead of trying to find a flange that would fit the connectors. And so we kind of explored this idea and tried a few different things and wanted to share with you guys what we found to work and not work. And so if you don't remember, the idea is essentially using an off-the-shelf electrical connector for junction boxes, and you combine that with an off-the-shelf plumbing flange in order to create a DIY flange that you can connect your EMT conduit to uh, and secure your EMT conduit bills to a flat surface. And a lot of people ask why you'd ever want to do something like this, and they must not have really seen what we do or what the community does, which is build all kinds of different things like desks and greenhouses, all kinds of different projects. And one of the main problems that people run into is attaching their EMT conduit to flat surfaces. That's why we made a flange eventually, but this hack is still utilized a lot by members of the community for attaching their EMT builds to flat surfaces and vice versa. But we explored this idea and talked about how you could use an off the shelf, or sorry, a flange from Amazon that allows you to just thread directly into it. And the reason that works is because the threads are, are just a standard straight thread. They're not anything fancy or anything specific to code like you'll find with the off-the-shelf flanges. And what we found to be the difference was uh, the NPT threads. So the threads that you'll find for rigid conduit and for plumbing flanges and things, if you look at the tubing that's made to go into those, you can see that it tapers off. And so those thread into the flanges and the threads here have to be tapered as well. And that's just for sealing gas and different things in these whenever you're building or actually using them for what they're intended. But if you're doing a DIY project, then that's not going to be as important. So we don't really care too much about that, but we still want to make this hack work. So what we started with was getting a three quarter inch tap. Uh, and as you can see, this is just way too small to fit inside of here. And that just has to do with the trade size and the way all of that works where so this is just a standard three quarter inch size, but you know, galvanized uh, flanges and galvanized tubing and even EMT conduit is different because the three quarter inch is not the actual OD and there's just a whole lot that goes into that trade size, but that's why this one didn't work. And so a lot of people suggested that we use a three quarter inch uh, NPT thread, which is the same threads as this, and then try to go all the way through to the other side and just expand the threads a little bit wider to provide enough engagement for this to go all the way down in there. And we tried that, and I think you might could make that work, but not, it's not really great, not really the best way to do it. So what we ended up doing that worked the best was to get a three quarter inch NPS tap and die, and that's what this is here. And then essentially you just use this normally like you would with a tap, and you just want to you know, chase the threads and go all the way through to you know, make this an NPS thread for three quarter inch all the way through the flange there and then that allowed us to connect the three quarter inch connectors, but there was a slight issue. We thought it just didn't work because we tried to thread this in there and it didn't go. And we realized that the, the machining tolerances for these connectors are not exact, of course. These are just made to go in you know, handy junction boxes, so they're not exact, and um, that caused it to not fit smoothly in there. So then we just took the die that came with the three quarter inch NPS, which I'll link down below, the one that we use, so you guys can pick that up if you want to do it. But once we chased the threads on here, and you know, kind of made sure that these threads were um, exactly three quarter inch NPS. Then that allowed us to just thread this in here like we want all the way down to the bottom. As you can see, super smooth and works like it's supposed to. And then there you have it, your three quarter inch flange with the off the shelf plumbing flange and the EMT conduit connector. And then of course you connect your EMT there and then there you go, you've got your EMT conduit attached to a flat surface. So, Finally found a good solution for this. Thanks everybody for those comments and for all the suggestions. It was a lot of fun to figure this out. Hopefully you guys can utilize this hack and start using these flanges in your builds again. If you enjoyed this, leave a like and consider subscribing. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.